Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video we are going to create a simple Power BI report. So we are going to create this report on this topic that is death rate of countries and its causes and our data source will be a CSV file. We are taking this data set from Kaggle.com. I will put the link in the description. I have downloaded the CSV file. So let's look at the data. So here we have entity column which is nothing but a country. Here we have different countries. Here we have country code. And then we have year column. So from the column number D, we, as we can see, we have outdoor air pollution, high systolic blood pressure, diet high in sodium. So these are the death causes and uh, uh, the rows are having the death numbers. So we have multiple death causes, as you can see here. So we are going to create a simple Power BI report where we will show the death rates by country and by year. So our first step will be to import this CSV data into our Power BI desktop file. So let's uh, open the Power BI desktop file. Now we'll go to get data and from here I will choose text or CSV as we have CSV as our data source. So let's click on text or CSV. So here is our file. So here is our file. Let's click on it and it's loading. We have only one file that is we will have only one table in this. So we will have only one table in the data model. So let's go to the transform data. We have loaded this table. Now let's do some transformation. So first of all, I will change the name of this table. That is, let's uh, call it death rate. So now if you don't know, in Power BI, a lean table is always performance efficient. Here, we, what do we mean by lean table? Lean table means less number of columns and more number of rows. So here in this table, as we can see, we have 31 columns. So 31 columns can be considered as a wide table. What we will do is we will pivot this table to make less number of columns. So from the column number four, we have death causes and the row values are the number of deaths occurred. So all these columns having death causes can be pivoted down and be reduced to two columns. So we will do that. We will pivot down this table. First is we will select all the columns that we want to pivot down. So select, click on outdoor air population and just scroll this to the end and click on shift and click. So it will select all the columns from column number four to the end of the columns. Now, if I go to transform and here we can see unpivot columns. So we can click on unpivot columns and it will unpivot this column. And it can unpivot the data. The second is we have uh, unpivot other columns and then we have unpivot only selected columns. So in our case, I will click on unpivot only selected columns. So now as you can see, we, it has given us two columns that is attribute and value. So let's rename this column. Let's call this attribute as death cause. And this value can be called as number of deaths. So now we have only five columns in our table, which is a lean table and it is performance efficient. Also, now we can do the data analysis on this death cause column by calculating the top 10 death causes, uh, by calculating the top 10 death causes. So let's check the data types. This is text, this is text, this is number, this is text, this is number. So data type is fine. Uh, here we can see uh, in the country code we have 84% uh, valid data and 16% is empty data. Let's see why these are blank. So if I click on blank, click on OK. So these uh, African region does not have any code. That's why it's blank. So we'll keep it as it is. Let's uh, clear this filter draw from here and now go to home and close and apply now uh, the table will be loaded in our data model so if you see this table has been loaded so now we don't have to go to our relationship view as we don't have any uh, as we have, as we don't have multiple tables so let's jump into creating visualizations 
I will create our first visualization from here. Let's right click and click on add visual. Here I'm going to choose a bar chart. We have taken bar chart. So in, in Y axis, I will take death causes. Whereas in X axis, I will take number of deaths. So this is our first visualization. Let's format this a little. So if we double click on this, let's close this first. And if you double click on this visualization, it will, uh, you can see this blue line appears on the border, which means that it is now in editing mode. So now let's, let's rename this hash deaths. Let's change this title as well. Let's call it death reasons. I will change this color. Uh, so instead of adding a solid color to all the bars, let's add a conditional formatting, which will say that uh, for the for more number of deaths, it will uh, be the dark color. So let's go to this FX, which is a conditional formatting. And let's click on gradient. So it's taking count of death causes. And for uh, lowest value, we'll take this gray. And for highest value, let's take uh, this blue. Click on OK. So we'll make this uh, grid line, vertical grid line as solid. So now we don't want the title count of death cause. We can turn off this. So for that, we'll go to legends and turn off the title. And we can change the position of this as well. Enter. And uh, let's add a well, let's add a border. So we'll enable the visual border. And here, instead of black, let's choose some lighter shades. Let's say thirty percent dark. And uh, also enable this shadow. And also we'll make this forty percent lighter. Let's make this corners uh, rounded. So I'll make it 10 pixels. So this is looking good. Similarly, I will add another chart. So I will copy this and paste it. So we can do one more thing here. We cannot read the full names here. Click on this and here we see max area width. So make it 50%. And let's increase the width of the chart. Yeah, now it's fine. Now let's add some slicers. So let's add a slicer for year. Here let's choose between two. Uh, let's decrease the size and let's keep it here. Now we need one more slicer for so for that I will click on here and click on slicer. Let's add for this entity and from the slicer settings I will choose it as a drop down. Now from here, the, from the slicer selection, uh, let's uh, turn off the multi select with control option and uh, click on show select all. So it will add a select, select all option in our slicer. Comparing to this chart, these uh, headers are looking more big. So let's make it 12. So here, let's make it 12. Go to the values. And uh, here I will choose 9. 9 is fine. Go to this and here in values I will choose 9. And also we can uh, reduce this padding to 2. So we can see uh, these options. So now when I click on this slicer, you can see a select all option is there. And uh, we can click on multiple countries to see the death rates. Now we want to enable one more 
uh, option to the slicer we want to search because because it's having multiple number of countries it has multiple countries as you can see we have this uh, multiple countries so we'll have to add a search option to this slicer for that let's click on this three dot and here we can see this search button search option so click on this and it has it will add a search of search bar it will add a search bar here we can search any country name say say we can search so we can search anything let's say Denmark so it will give us Denmark so we can search the entity name from here let's turn off the sliders the slider is not looking good so from the slider option we can turn off this so from here you can say we want to see data from 2015 to 2019 if I click on enter it will be updated so let's show the number of deaths by the entity so we will go to this and from here in y axis I will change it to the entity so let's, let's change the title from here and make it deaths by entity let's add a title for that let's add a text box and so I will add a title here increase the size to 20 death rates analysis let's increase the size to 40 and I will uh, change the color of this text let's select this and change the color of this text as this blue now let's add some KPIs so we can also make this entity as single select because whenever we will analyze the data we'll analyze by an individual country so let's do that let's go to selection options and from here I will choose single select so now if you see uh, Afghanistan is uh, automatically selected so what we will do is we'll uh, turn off the interaction between these two visuals because I want to show all the entities in this chart so what I will do is I will go to format from here I will uh, click on edit interaction and uh, turn off the interaction with this visual for this slicer so that it can show me all these uh, entities uh, whatever I select in this entity so click on this interaction edit interaction again now we'll add some KPIs so let's add visual and from here let's add a card let's add the number of death KPIs let's show this number of deaths for a whole world so for that I will add a, a filter in this visual level filter so let's drag this entity in the filter on this visual and from here let's let's choose world so that world option will be visible here and let's click on world so this KPI will show me the number of deaths for the world I will change this label for that I will go to the field section and from here I will choose number of deaths number of deaths in the world let's add the formatting to this uh, card visual as well so I will click on this chart and click on format painter and select this card so that it will uh, change the format of this card as well let's add another card and it will show us the death for the selected entity let's go to the field section again and uh, let's just type number of deaths so now if I change the entity to another some region it will show me blank so why this is showing me blank because we are showing uh, the number of death for the world entity and now we have selected different a different entity for that reason it is showing me as blank 
so what I will do is I will select on this entity and turn off the interaction by going to the edit interaction for this visual I want to I want this visual to show the number of deaths uh, around the globe now if I change uh, this entity this will change this card will change and this card will not change because this card is showing us the total deaths around the globe second card is showing us the number of deaths for this particular entity and for this year if I click on 2019 click on enter it will show us the death rates for 2009 now we'll go to call out value and from here we can also change the background of this report so for that go to canvas background and gray and uh, make this transparency as zero so now I will uh, turn off the background for this go to size and style and turn off the background I want to show the background in the values for that let's uh, select these two slices and uh, then go to value section from value we can see uh, this background option um, in background we'll choose white for this let's reduce the size little make it 32 and let's reduce the size of this kpis little uh, let's add shadow to a background turn on the shadow so this was a quick and simple bobby report that we have uh, created with the kaggle data set pasted the link of the data set in the description so you can check out the link and we can also create this uh, report so that was it for this video so if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel Thanks for watching.